came into the museum, I seem to think in the middle that, that will be the chapel. When you came into the Jeffrey Museum, you came in from the, the right hand end, and then you had the corridor with all the rooms on your right hand side, and then you went all the way down and the rooms finished, and then you had the art room. And that's, yes, where, and that's where we used to spend all our time. So, mm. so no, there were no entrances down that other end. It was where, all, you know, and the cafe wasn't there and everything like that. So that's all, all different. So one came into the museum, and I remember one of the first rooms one saw was, um, you couldn't actually get into it, it was a workshop, um, lots of old tools, of what century I can't say really, not modern, they wouldn't have modern electric drills or anything, so it probably was set in 18th, 19th century, um, and a workbench, and these various chisels and hammers and it was a fascinating thing to look at. Do you remember when we came in those years, there were uh, life-size figures in many of the rooms oh, with, yeah. the, with the yeah. costume of the day? Yeah, yeah. And I feel that it would be nice to see those back again. I have to say, uh, I think it would just add a little bit to the rooms if you had figures there it, to bring them to life. And then we moved further towards the cafe, which was it was in the middle of the, roughly in the middle of the museum, roughly where the library is now. And of course, that still exists, the actual cafe area, although it's not a cafe anymore. Um, but it's that, it had that lovely um, mural around the outside of it, on the sort of inside the wall, but and it was on a curve. And so you project it outside to have a good view out. But the horse in that mural is out of proportion. The body is far too long and that always <laughs> abused me. But otherwise it's a very nice mural. But actually that's nice about it anyway. <laughs>